Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Kovac Enterprises, uh, where in this particular video segment, we are going to go over the uh, process of how I did the two-part mold uh, for the molding and casting of the uh, shotgun that I used uh, to recreate uh, for the Ford Interceptor uh, shotgun uh, piece. Um, I'm doing this because I did have a couple of uh, my subscribers uh, asking for a kind of a dedicated uh, uh, video uh, to go over the step-by-step -step process of this. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so as you can see in front of you, uh, these are the items I used uh, for uh, making that two-part mold. And uh, I'll kind of quickly uh, go over them right now to uh, uh, show you what they are and, and uh, we'll go from there so basically on the I'll take my pointer here so basically on the uh, far left here we have the uh, uh, ease release made by the man release technologies uh, company uh, it's a mold release agent uh, for use for the two-part mold so that your mold doesn't stick together uh, next to that we have some smooth on product uh, products. Um, this is the platinum silicone rubber. Uh, I went ahead and chose the Mold Star 16, um, and it comes with you know two bottles. Uh, one's uh, A and one's B, uh, where you're, it's going to be mixed uh, one to one ratio uh, by weight or volume. So you do not need to uh, degas this because it is low vis viscosity. Um, so that was one of the things that I, I liked about it. Uh, once you have your mold set up, uh, then we'll be using the Smooth uh, On Smooth Cast 320 Part A Part B. Uh, basically, uh, you'll be mixing this up the same way that you do with the silicone rubber, uh, based on a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio. Uh, the one thing about the Mold Star is uh, once you put the two uh, ingredients together, uh, it does have a pot life of six minutes and a cure time of 30 minutes. Uh, as far as the SmoothCast 320, uh, it works a little bit faster. Uh, the pot life is approximately three minutes and the cure time for the resin uh, is about 10 minutes. So these are the uh, basic components I'm going to be using. Uh, the other things that I use for the two-part uh, mode process is I went ahead and went to Michael's and uh, I picked up uh, some modeling clay. Uh, this one here in particular is the Craft Smart Plastilina modeling clay. It is sulfur free, which is very important because uh, doing a lot of research on making molds, uh, that uh, they say it's easier to use a sulfur free over just the sulfur itself. Um, uh, the uh, the mold does not like the sulfur, so uh, this is in fact a sulfur free modeling clay and that's what I'm going to be using and then uh, I also have some medicine cups here that I use for uh, mixing and uh, also setting up the mold process itself so there's my medicine cups uh, this is an actual jello cup uh, that uh, I save uh, to uh, uh, for the mold uh, process itself too as well uh, we have some rubber bands and then uh, I chose to use an eyedropper to uh, use for the uh, injecting the resin once the mold is made. Uh, we will also have the master uh, item that we're going to be molding, which is the shotgun itself, or what we call the original. They also call it the master. Uh, this is the uh, you need like one you know toothpick here. I'll show you what we're going to be doing during that process of why we use a toothpick. And I have a tongue depressor, a brush, and uh, of course then in the back here we have the uh, glue gun. And uh, last but not least we have the some baby powder. So these are basically the uh, central items that I use to uh, go from A to B as far as uh, uh, doing the two-part mold. So with that being said, we will be back and... Uh, We'll get started on how I accomplish this. So stay tuned. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this uh, two-part mold process. Uh, I went ahead and uh, I took a little bit of the plastic modeling clay and I embedded the shotgun into the modeling clay about halfway and I cut a little piece of the toothpick uh, and put it on the end of the butt of the shotgun and then out towards the edge of the clay itself. This is going to be our entry point uh, later on for when we put the uh, the resin into the actual mold to create another shotgun. Uh, another important thing that we need to do is actually uh, put some registrations in there or what they call keys uh, so that when you put the second part of the mold in it lines up uh, perfectly so you have a nice clean uh, replication of the uh, shotgun. So basically uh, what we do is we just put little holes into the clay around the perimeter of the shotgun as many as you want and uh, this is what we're doing here okay so it should look something like that with uh, you know uh, as far as the keys are concerned uh, so once that's done uh, it's ready to uh, get ready to be molded for the first half the next step that I did was to actually take just a standard uh, 30 cc uh, medicine cup, cut the top of the medicine cup, this is where we're going to be pouring the actual mold in uh, once it's glued down to uh, the base around the, uh, the clay itself. So what we do, we'll just put that right over here like so. And uh, we take our hot glue gun and we go ahead and uh, hot glue all the way around the perimeter of the uh, the base of the medicine cup. Uh, now some people also uh, uh, put clay around that just so that when we have this liquid uh, uh, you know basic silicone rubber get poured in there it doesn't get leaked underneath the uh, the cup. But I just went ahead myself and I just kind of hot glued it really well uh, and that seemed to work uh, quite well. Uh, once that's done of course then we go ahead and we just mix up our part A and part B of our Mold Star 16. Uh, I just basically just guessed at this because uh, it is by uh, volume or weight. Uh, I just thought what I needed and I put one in each cup uh, and then I mixed them together and I went ahead and mixed them really well with a small um, you know, tongue depressor. Uh, remember we have a pot life on this once they're both mixed for six minutes mix it up really well. Once that is done I went ahead and poured the uh, silicone mold and basically I poured it up as high as I can get because that helps uh, uh, with uh, getting rid of the air bubbles, a nice steady stream. And once that was done I went ahead and took apart the uh, uh, the plastic cup uh, from the base uh, and uh, once the mold was cured after 30 minutes and what we come up with uh, is basically I'll just kind of uh, reset this up so it's going to look kind of like like this right here once everything is cured and uh, once that was done I just pried it off the base and peeled back the clay removed the shotgun and the toothpick and uh, that's our first part of our mold so it looked something like this once that was done I went ahead and uh, just cut a little piece of the medicine cups and I glued it down again to the uh, to the base because all I'm going to do is pour enough of the second part of the mold into this, this little channel or this negative zone here um, the actual shotgun is, is basically st still stayed in place and uh, with the um, toothpick uh, and this is where we spray our silicone release in this case the Ease Release 200 that I used and we went ahead and sp spray it all inside the, the little channel here and I also spray it on top here in case there's any overflow of the uh, of the silicone rubber. And once I sprayed with some nice mist coats, I took a brush and I brushed it all 
in place to make sure I got every nook and cranny and I waited for five minutes for it to dry and then I went ahead and mixed up another batch of this silicone rubber of only what I needed and of course then I poured or yeah I just poured it into the channel you know like so uh, once that was cured uh, this is what I came up with the second half of the uh, two-part mold you can see a ni nice impression of the uh, shotgun on this part of it uh, maybe even some of the little registration uh, key points and, uh, and then of course I pried off the plastic and uh, let's see so we basically what it came down to was this nice perfect fit like so uh, I went ahead and carefully re uh, peeled back this part of it like so took out the uh, shotgun and uh, then we went ahead and uh, put this back in place uh, this is where the two, uh, tongue depressor comes in play I went ahead and broke the tongue depressor in half uh, of course then we put one on top like so one on the bottom so uh, and then we took a rubber band and we rubber band it together like so and uh, once that was done it's ready for resin and this is where I used the Smoothcast 320 and again I took a couple of the medicine cups two of them one for A one for B and just only mixed up what I needed to inject into our mold uh, once and of course again with the smooth cast it works a little bit faster so the pot life is three minutes and it cures in ten minutes so once I mixed that up really well uh, I went ahead and took an eyedropper and uh, just you know pulled out what I needed as far as the uh, resin's concerned and I went ahead and just applied it and injected it into the hole where the toothpick used to be uh, and I just squeezed in what I needed uh, it's okay if a little bit comes out because then once that was done I just kind of squeezed the mold itself to burp out any of the air bubbles uh, and then just you know applied a little bit more so that a little bit was flowing out and of course then I kind of just set it upright like so and once it was cured in about 10 minutes or so uh, I went ahead and took everything apart and another thing I, I like to do is whatever I had left over in the in the cup uh, and this is what it looks like afterwards uh, that's a good test of knowing when your mold or your resin is, is cured is you watch your cup and once that once that uh, uh, cures you can actually pull it out of your medicine cup you know that you can go ahead and pull this mold uh, apart and, and retrieve your uh, your duplication of your shotgun so that's that's kind of like a nice little trick to have there too to uh, see when your your the process of curing is over with but basically I just take the uh, rubber bands back off like so and uh, when I pull it apart I come up with my new shotgun so that's basically uh, the basics as far as making a two-part mold and uh, I hope this helps everybody uh, if you have any questions or comments just uh, leave them for me in the uh, comment section of this uh, video and uh, I'll try to answer any of your questions but I hope this helps for anybody who is interested in uh, making a two-part mold uh, and uh, with that being said uh, I hope everybody today has a good happy Father's Day since it's Sunday it's Father's Day and I wish all fathers a, a good day so with that we will see you on the next uh, video of the Adam 12 project uh, until then have a good day and we will catch you later bye